Yo, what's up, Pride Nation? Back at you with another video on today. Make sure you hit that subscription button, and I just want to give you some food for thought on today. Now, pretty much, we know that there was a major deal that happened today with the Carolina Panthers and the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns pretty much send uh, Baker Mayfield to the Carolina Panthers for a fifth round conditional pick. So we know conditions mean that pretty much uh, that there are some conditions in the contract that uh baker mayfield if he hit those conditions uh you know even it could be even a better pick so definitely uh baker mayfield will be in a battle with quarterback sam darnold uh the carolina panthers have already said that they're going to have quarterback competition and they're going to allow these guys to compete and i think that that's what every team should do allow the team to compete now we pretty much know that jared golf is on the books he is the starter for the Detroit Lions, he will be the starting quarterback. This guy will be making over 30, uh, 30 plus million um, to be the quarterback for the Detroit Lions this season. And I don't see that going away. Now, there's an issue that we must talk about. And there's an elephant in the room that we got to talk about. And that's the backup quarterback spot. Now, we've been talking about it for a while. And pretty much I thought that the Lions would address it in the draft and just get a quarterback that possibly be a guy that they can groom but the lions decided not to go in that direction and they just kept the guys that uh they have from last season they brought back uh tim boyle and they brought back david blah now it's kind of crazy you know if you're david blah you should be feeling some type of way because pretty much you got walked over last season uh you were the number two uh quarterback to uh jared golf last season and then all of a sudden uh tim boyle gets healthy and he gets put in as the number two quarterback but then you get brought back to the team in the offseason now maybe the lions did it because they were just trying to uh balance the books and be a little frugal with the money and um that's maybe why they ended up just signing uh two guys back that knew uh the playbook you no know, because i know that pretty much their deals are not really worth that much and I don't say that you have to go out and spend a whole, whole lot of money on getting a backup quarterback. But we're just saying, you know, you still want to win football games if your starting quarterback happens to go down. So if Jared Goff went down, would you be confident in Tim Boyle and David Blah getting the job done? Well, currently, both of these guys are combined 0-8 uh, as the starters for the Lions. So we know so far they have not been able to get the job done. So this is why I, 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 uh, I give you the question on today. Should the Lions sign quarterback P.J. Walker if the Panthers release him? And to me, that's a move that I would have to make. I would bring P.J. Walker in. If the, if the Carolina Panthers release P.J. Walker, I would bring him in and allow him to compete with Tim Boyle and David Blah. I'm more confident at having a guy that has the experience, knows what it takes to win an NFL game, than two quarterbacks that's on a team that's just taking up roster spots, and you're not going to be able to do anything with these guys if Jared Goff goes down. Pretty much, your season will probably be over. Now, the biggest thing is, that's something that Detroit Lions uh, have to be interested in interested in um getting better at the position if i'm the gm for the lions i'm not trying to lose my job i'm going to do what it takes to get talent in here and if that means i have to have competition at the backup quarterback spot to make sure i got a solid guy and just just in case if golf goes down then i'm going to do that i'm going to do whatever it takes to get this team better because that's my job as a gm that's my job my job is to to, to make this team better my job is to put a winning product out on the field on Sundays. So why not take a quarterback that has been semi-successful in the uh, the NFL and had a couple of victories um, and also played for the Colts as well? I forgot about that, but P.J. Walker played for the Colts as well. So why not give a guy that has some experience? He was the uh, also P.J. Walker was the MVP of the xfl and we know that a lot of people look at the xfl it's like a semi-pro league they don't look at it like it's the nfl they look at it like it's a a g league in the nba you know what i'm saying they, they kind of look at it like that uh to develop players and some of those players develop 
and they get a shot like P.J. Walker. So my biggest thing for the Detroit Lions is why not have some type of interest in a solid backup quarterback? I definitely think that P.J. Walker is a talented enough guy to be the backup quarterback. He has a nice arm. Um, he's able to be mobile in the pocket and uh, he has that escapability. And also he's able to uh, do the things that you need to have done. And that's just being a solid backup quarterback. So this is something that the Lions should consider. And they must truly, truly think about heading off into the training camp. So you as the fans, let me know what you feel and what you're thinking about the Detroit Lions picking up a quarterback like P.J. Walker in the offseason to be able to come in and compete with Tim Boyle and David Block. All right, you guys, I'm out of here.